Today we're going to talk about one of the most famous dinosaurs, Triceratops. There are two recognized species of Triceratops, Triceratops horridus and Triceratops porcus. Its name means three-horned face, referring to one of its most distinctive features, the two large horns above its eyes and the smaller nose horn. Its other impressive feature being the large frill stretching back over its neck. Triceratops belongs to the Ceratopsians, a group of dinosaurs that includes a wide variety of different frill and horn shapes and combinations. Furthermore, Ceratopsians belong to the Ornithischians, one of three major groups of dinosaurs, and that includes Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Ankylosaurus, for example. Unlike other Ceratopsians, Triceratops fossils are often found alone, hinting that it didn't form large herds like some other similar dinosaurs. Triceratops lived in North America during the latest Cretaceous period, from about 68 to 66 million years ago, making it one of the last non-bird dinosaurs. This also means that it shared space with none other than Tyrannosaurus rex. In fact, Triceratops frills have been found with T-Rex bite marks, and at least one fossil has been discovered with one of its horns seemingly bitten off by a T-Rex. This seems to lend evidence to the idea that their head structures had more to do with attracting mates than defense and some Triceratops fossils show puncture marks from other Triceratops. The first fossils of this dinosaur were discovered in 1887 by George Lyman Cannon near Denver, Colorado. They were sent to famous paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh, who thought they came from an extinct bison. Later, after more complete fossils were discovered, Marsh realized they belonged to a dinosaur, which he named Triceratops. These animals were herbivores, and they used stacks of teeth called batteries to grind up plants like palms, cycads, and ferns. Like many herbivorous dinosaurs, their mouths ended in a beak that might have been used for plucking vegetation. Thanks to the huge numbers of fossil specimens, Triceratops is one of the best known dinosaurs, but we continue to learn more about this famous creature. If you want to get up close to Triceratops and its relatives, check out the American Museum of Natural History Dinosaur Gallery at COSI. That's it for Fossil Friday. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And for more information about COSI, Columbus, Ohio's Center of Science and Industry, visit COSI.org.